In today's video, we're doing all new home hacks. One of my best hacks that I have for the winter months is this over the door shoe organizer that I use in our front closet and I don't use it for shoes. I actually use it to organize all of my family's hats, gloves, scarves. There's a section for my husband, a section for me. I have found this is the best item to really keep things where my kids can easily grab them in the morning and they stay somewhat organized. I wanted to put some fun new labels on my organizer. So I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore 3 you guys heard that right. Cricut has a new machine. I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. Now I've been telling you guys the whole year how much I love the Cricut Joy. I think one of the reasons I really love the Cricut Joy is because it's a smart machine. You don't have to use a mat and it cuts in half the time. The Cricut Explorer 3 does the exact same thing, but it's a 12 by 12 machine, but you're going to be able to cut larger items on it. You don't have to have a mat. You can use smart vinyl. And the other cool thing is it cuts so fast. Like this thing was cutting things out. I was like, whoa, that's going so fast. Now to create my labels, I just went into the design space and I put the labels that I needed for my different compartments. I cut them out on a smart vinyl. Next, I'm just gonna use some transfer paper to put them onto my shoe organizer. What are you doing? What, what is happening? Okay, so whenever I use transfer, like the Cricut transfer tape, I think it's too sticky. So I like to get a little sticky off. So I always like put it on like my shirt or my sleeve if I'm using like new tape. I don't know. Does anybody <laughs> else do that? So I'm just gonna add my transfer tape to my labels so I can easily put them on to um, the different compartments. These labels are gonna be able to help my family find their items even quicker and of course it looks adorable. So here's a Cricut hack you can do to create your own rug. I found the best rug at Five Below. You guys, they have some amazing rugs. This one circle rug that I picked up was only $5. So I grabbed that for this project. Next, I love to use the stencil vinyl that Cricut has because you can literally make any design. I went into my Cricut design space and I found a fun design that I wanted to put in the center of this rug. Next, I put the stencil vinyl onto my mat and put it into the Cricut Explore Air 3. Then I set my design to be cut. How could we move Once it was cut out, I just weeded out the center and then I used the outer portion as my stencil. So I tried really hard to get my stencil in the center of my rug. Once it was in the center of the rug, then I decided to use the color Mineral by Waverly, and I used a foam brush to put one coat of paint inside the stencil. Whenever you're putting paint on rugs or fabric, you can use quite a bit of paint because the paint actually is going to absorb quite a bit. So let that dry completely. Then whenever you're making a rug, you wanna make sure that you seal it. So I have this matte sealer that I'm gonna spray over the top of my rug. This is just gonna help to protect your rug and make it last longer if anybody is walking on it. And here's a look at how my rug turned out. This next hack is such a genius home hack for your bedroom. So if you've ever been making your bed and you go to put on your fitted sheet and you're like, I don't know which corner is supposed to go where, like all the sides look the same. Okay, here's the hack. So the tag that's on the inside of your fitted sheet is supposed to be on the bottom left corner if you're laying in bed. Okay, so you're laying in your bed, the bottom left corner is where you're supposed to place the tag. So whenever you get your sheets out, just find the tag and go ahead and put it down in that left corner and your sheets will be in the right spot every time. How cool is that? 
If you guys love seeing home hacks, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know to do more like it in the future. So this next hack, when I found out about it, it blew my mind because I was like, how did I not already know about this? And you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments if you knew about this. So I have so many different Cricut vinyls that I use, but if you look on the back of your Cricut vinyl, you will be able to figure out if it's a permanent or a removable vinyl because all permanent vinyls have a green backing to the grid and all removable vinyls have a gray backing. Did you guys know this? I didn't know this because so many times I use my vinyl, I throw it back in my drawer and then I get it out and I'm like, I don't know if this is removable or if it's permanent. It's going to be so helpful knowing this in the future. Okay, so here is a fun laundry hack that you can use. So if you have liquid soap like this and one of your caps always gets like gunky around it, or maybe you just wanna make sure that you get all of your laundry soap in whenever you're washing, you wanna take your cap and just throw it directly into your washer with all of your clothes. When it comes out, it's gonna be completely clean. To get through the winter season, if you wanna to put together some fun mugs, Cricut has a great option for you. So go into Cricut Design Space and you're going to search for a template. I find this so much easier than creating my own templates. I just typed in the word mug and there were so many different options to choose from. Then you're gonna click on make it. I picked a design I liked and then put it into the design space. Make sure that you click on mirror image for your design. Then you're gonna choose the paper you're gonna be using. Next, I weeded the image out so I was just left with my design. Cricut has a wide variety of different blanks you can use from t-shirts to coasters. I'm actually gonna be using their mugs. I'm excited because this is the first time that I'm using this product. I'm gonna take my design and wrap it around the mug. Cricut has a new product that I'm gonna be using called the Cricut Mug Press. So you're gonna plug it in and let your mug press warm up. Once it's ready, the green light's gonna indicate that it's ready. You just set your mug in there and then you're going to clamp down on the top. Now there's a few lights at the top. There's five different lights and once it gets all five lights lit up, you know that your project is done. You can pull it out from there. Now you wanna make sure you let it cool down. So I'll just set it aside and let it cool down. Once it's completely cooled down, you can pull off the backing and then you have a professional mug that you created and completely personalized. All right, I think you guys are really gonna love this next hack because we all struggle with our glue guns. Have you ever put your glue stick into your glue gun and it just kind of falls out? Well, here's a fun hack that you can try. So whenever you're getting down to the end of your glue stick and you're getting ready to put another one in, take the new glue stick and put a dot of glue on one end of the glue stick. Then you're going to just stick it in like you normally would, but that hot glue is gonna hold it in place and you won't have to worry about your glue stick falling out. Out. I think this is genius. So you guys know I film a lot of videos in my bedroom and I always want my bed and my sheets to look as nice as possible. This is my tip for getting all the wrinkles out of your bedding as quickly as possible. I grab this Dollar Tree spray bottle. I just fill it up with water. I don't use anything fancy. And then I go around my bed and just spray it all over my comforter, my sheets, whatever I'm trying to get wrinkles out of. And then with my comforter, I'll just pull tight on all the edges and it really helps to take most of the wrinkles out. I also love to do it on my pillow. So I'll spray it on my pillows and then I just kind of fling them a little bit and it helps to get the wrinkles out when everything dries. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that red button to subscribe. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. 
So if you guys are like me, you probably use your Cricut machine quite often and you're left with all these scraps that you just don't know what to do with them. Well, here is a fun solution and a DIY you can do with all of those extra vinyl scraps. So grab your 12 by 12 mat and you're just going to place your scraps onto the mat. Then I'm gonna go into Cricut Design Space and just come up with some fun shapes. So I did a leaf, I also did a circular shape, and then this other fun shape that I found in their free images. Next, I placed those shapes around my mat so they would be cut out exactly where I put the vinyl on my mat. Then I selected all of those images and welded them together. That way the shapes are not gonna move around. So make sure you do that step. Listen to the midnight radio. I also picked up a $1 frame at the thrift store. I removed the contents of the frame and I'm just going to be adding those different scraps that I created into fun shapes to my glass. Once I have the shapes down on my glass, I'm gonna use a construction adhesive glue to glue the glass section back onto the frame. I'm also going to pull out with my pliers the clips so that you can't see those when my glass is put back in. This was a $1 project because I just had to buy my frame. You could use a frame you had on hand and then your leftover Cricut scraps. We really want to try out this next hack and see if it works because I think it's kind of controversial and that is putting a wooden spoon on a boiling water. So if you're cooking pasta or anything and you know it boils over, if you put a wooden spoon onto your pot, it's gonna keep it from boiling over. Well, we tried it, but it didn't keep it from totally not boiling over. So I will say it's gonna probably slow down your process, but you still are gonna to have to like turn down the heat, but maybe you set your pot and then you walk over Away. It's a good buffer to kind of slow down that boiling over process. I would say this one kind of works. Definitely use it if you have to walk away, but it's not going to completely keep your pot from boiling over. Hey everyone, I need your help. So towards the end of the year, I'm going to be creating a video where I share with you the top DIYs of 2021 and I want your input. So I would love for you guys to vote on your favorite DIY from 2021. So I picked out four DIYs from this past year that had some of the top comments on them. And I would love for you guys to comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. Okay. So number one is this Ikea light fixture that I picked up really inexpensively. I added some tassels, DIY'd it, and it's now hanging in my kitchen over my breakfast snook. Number two is this Dollar Tree wreath that I created really inexpensively. This was actually towards the beginning of 2021. You guys probably knew I had to throw in a rope tray. This was one that I created this year and was pretty popular on the channel. And paint pour was a really popular technique I did this year. This was a paint pour tray that I created. All right, you guys put your votes in. Let me know down in the comments section which of these four projects was your favorite. All right, you guys, let me know down in the comments which of these hacks you're going to be trying out, and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.